Let's get this reed put onto the mouthpiece. This works for a clarinet mouthpiece or a saxophone mouthpiece. Normally I would put the reed in my mouth, get it wet while I'm putting the instrument together. Helps it work better. Then my most important thing is lining it up correctly with the mouthpiece. And match it up onto the mouthpiece. And I like to leave a little line of the black mouthpiece showing over the top of the reed, just a little bit. And make sure the reed is not overlapping the top of the mouthpiece. So we hold that in place and we can get the ligature on. This is the most common ligature I see in the band classroom. It's got the two screws in the front. You get the ligature down below this U-shaped cutout here. I like to get it down below it with a little extra space below. Then we can snug up the screws. Don't make them too tight. The screws can break if you go too tight and the reed doesn't need to be held that snugly. I think of it more as a nice hug rather than a bone-crushing bear hug. So you get it all lined up that way. Snug up the reed and it should be good to go. That works well for the saxophone mouthpiece. Now there is another very common ligature that I see in the band classroom. That's the black strap. It looks like this. Did you notice that the screw was in the back on the opposite side of the reed on that one? Different ligatures are made to go different ways. Sometimes they can look like this, but go around the other way. The whole idea is to keep that reed pulled tightly to the mouthpiece down in this area. Okay, you practice putting on your reed. Do it a lot. It'll get easier. It'll make more sense and it'll work better for you. Good luck.